In this lesson, I'll walk you through the setup of the JVC laser projectors for optimal performance with the MadVR Envy. We'll do this by following along in our guide available at madvrnv.com. Let's go ahead and get started. First, we want to set the input level and color space for the projector. Timing a defined setting most of the time is desirable, as there are cases when the projector will use an incorrect setting if it's on auto, which will result in an inaccurate image. So set the input level to 16 to 235 video and the color space set to RGB, as you see shown here. Next, let's talk about using the same picture mode for SDR and HDR. If you wish to use the same light output for SDR and HDR content, so for example, the same laser level and lens aperture for both SDR and HDR, you can use one picture mode in the JVC simply by following the instructions in this setting. This is common in setups with larger screens when maximum brightness is desired regardless of whether it's SCR or HCR content. First, from the JVC main menu, set the content type to SDR and not auto as shown here. Lastly, we need to configure various other settings in this menu. We recommend setting a picture mode to natural, the color profile to auto, the color temperature to 6500K, and the gamma to 2.4. Other settings in this picture mode can be set to your preference. Now, let's talk about using different picture modes for SCR and HDR. If you wish to use different light output for SCR and HDR content, for example, lower brightness for SCR and higher brightness for HDR, then follow the instructions we'll cover here. This is useful when the user feels that their HDR setup is too bright when viewing SDR content. Now, there are two different approaches to having the JVC automatically switch to different settings for SDR and HDR, and we'll cover these here. The first approach is using Envy's IP control to switch JVC picture modes. The Envy's built-in IP control can directly control other AV gear on your network, such as AVRs and displays. This works even if you're not using any control system like Crestron or Control 4, and this is the recommended approach to automatically switching your JVC to different picture modes. However, this approach does require that your JVC is connected to the same local network as your Envy. If you do not have a way to do this, then please see Approach 2 for an alternative way to switch picture modes automatically. The first step is to set your SDR picture modes. Follow the steps that we covered in the previous section, and you're going to wind up saving those into a picture mode called natural. You're going to set that up exactly how you want for SDR content. Then in step two, we're going to do the same thing, except this time, here are the settings to how you want them for HDR content. And when you're done, save them in the JVC picture mode named user one instead of natural which is where you will have saved your SCR settings. For step three, we have our device IP control set up so that the JVC will change picture modes when the signal changes between SDR and HDR. You must perform the actions listed below from the Envy's device IP control configuration menu. We're not going to cover those details here. However, if you see our lesson on controlling IP devices with the MV in the advanced section of these lessons, we walk you through how to do that there. Now let's talk about approach two, which uses the Envy's HDR flag to switch JVC picture modes. This approach can be tricky to configure initially and is less intuitive to set up. It also uses the Envy's HDR flag which when used as directed is effective. Therefore, approach one in the previous section we discussed is the recommended way to go. But like we talked about, if you can't have the JVC on the same network as the MV, then this is the way to go with approach two. Step one will be to set your SDR picture mode setup. So follow the steps we covered earlier. However, there are a couple of changes that need to be different 
in that section 202 that we covered. This section here describes those. Next, follow the steps here to set up your HDR picture mode. Okay, now let's talk about step three, which is to force the MV to set the HDR flag to on. You almost never want to do this when using the MV, except in this specific situation. When using approach two to automatically select a different picture mode in the JVC for SDR versus HDR content, you have to use this HDR flag and force it to on. Please never do this unless you're using approach two or it will lead to double tone mapping which looks quite poor. However, because of the steps taken in step two above, this will not cause double tone mapping with the configuration as presented here. First, from the MB display calibration menu, set the HDR flag to on. Then from the same menu, you must also set the transfer function to gamma 2.2. Now don't worry, this does not mean the MB will use a 2.2 gamma but rather this is required so that the MV and the JVC can be on the same page and so that the dynamic HDR tone mapping from the MV will be correct irrespective of the set gamma value. Now let's talk about some other projector settings briefly. There are a few other settings that need to be made in the projector in addition to the settings we covered earlier. For these settings, go to the installation menu on the JVC. First, let's discuss anamorphic mode. Always set the anamorphic option to off. If you have an anamorphic lens, this option should still be set to off. Instead, set the anamorphic lens option in the MV screen configuration menu so it uses the MV's AI-based anamorphic stretch instead of the JVC anamorphic stretch. We have a lesson that covers how to set up the MV for use with an anamorphic lens. Now let's talk about the aspect. At the bottom of the installation menu, set aspect to auto. The applet from the MV will be set in its display configuration menu and the auto setting will allow the projector to use its correct resolution automatically. Now let's discuss a few settings that need to be made in the MV. Now, before we continue, just remember you need to make all your changes and then save them to the base configuration so they're not temporary and revert as we've covered in previous lessons. From the MV display calibration menu, you'll find a transfer function. If you're not using a 3D LUT, you must set the transfer function in this MV menu to match the gamma value set in your JVC. If you use the same picture mode selection for SDR and HDR as we covered earlier, or you used approach number one for using different SDR and HDR picture modes, you must set the transfer function to the same gamma value you selected in your SDR picture mode settings in the JVC. If you used approach two for using different SDR and HDR picture modes, you must set the MV transfer function specifically to 2.2. Now let's discuss the MV display configuration menu settings. The first are the levels. Just as we set the input level in the projector to limited, we need to set the MV to do the same as shown on the next page. Set this in the MV menu to the setting called limited range TV. Next is the peak luminance. Peak luminance is a measure in nits or foot lamberts of the brightest image your display achieves for a specific configuration. The MV uses the peak luminance measure to render all scenes according to the director's intent, including very bright and very dark scenes. Therefore, it's important to specify an accurate peak luminance setting. We discussed in a previous lesson how to measure your peak luminance. Please see that lesson for more information. After you measure your peak luminance, enter it in the MV display configuration menu, like shown here. Now let's talk about a quick sanity check. After completing the setup of the MV with your JVC, we recommend reviewing the following as a final sanity check to help ensure everything is set up optimally. First, 
play any 4K HDR movie except Gemini Man or Billy Lynn and check the Envy incoming signal menu. Make sure that the frame rate shows 23976. If instead it shows 59.94, then your source device is not set up for proper movie playback. Check our source setup guides on MaverMV.com for more information. In general, you want to make sure the source device outputs a native or direct mode. Next, when playing any 4K HDR movie, check the MV incoming signal information to make sure the transfer function shows HDR. If it doesn't, the MV is not receiving HDR from the source player. This could be caused by a rogue device in the HDMI chain, such as an HDMI switch, or if using an AVR like a Denon or Marantz, make sure it's set to enhanced HDMI so it outputs the full 18 gigabits per second bandwidth. While on the Envy incoming signal menu, press the right arrow once to access the outgoing signal information. If you're not using the Envy Extreme's Motion AI feature, make sure that the frame rate here matches the frame rate of the incoming signal information. For example, for a movie, both should show 23.976. If, however, you are using Motion AI, then it is normal and expected for the outgoing signal frame rate to be 48, 60, or 120 hertz, depending on your Motion AI settings, even for 23.976 incoming signal. When playing HDR content, Make sure that the transfer function in the outgoing signal shows SDR, even though the content is HDR, if using the same picture mode for SDR and HDR, or if using approach one to using different picture modes for SDR and HDR. Now, if you're using approach two to using different picture modes for SDR and HDR, then the transfer function in the outgoing signal information must show HDR PQ. If it does not, make sure the HDR flag is set to on and refer to the previous section where we discussed this. Note that when playing SDR content, the transfer function in the outgoing signal information should always show as SDR regardless. If the colors look undersaturated or oversaturated, check the NV outgoing signal information and verify that the outgoing colorometry matches the color space you expect for the current content being played, such as BT2020 or BT709, and check that the JVC picture mode menu to confirm the projector is using the corresponding correct color space. If it's not, revisit the steps earlier in this guide. Okay, now that we know how to set up your JVC for the optimal picture quality with the Envy, it's time to move on to our next lesson.